and we broke from our support level at 55 cent as I indicated here in previous video yesterday I told you to watch out for this level and there's another warning sign if we just broke this level guys a big 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 warning sign for other uh, a price target that we gonna hit very soon if we actually went for this level we actually touched it uh, by today but we actually got really good uh, uh, incentive that we actually got a bit buying pressure so before we go in the video like and subscribe to my channel daily video with a uh, trade in jesus always oh, told you guys never panic and be patient and hunt for the right price value so without further ado as always show you guys here at my channel no bs no editing no bias straight to the information straight to the chart so let's get right to it as i told you in the previous video i told you guys this is really important level we watch out for if we just broke from this uh, candle we're gonna see a sell pressure that's why we see a big selling pressure here boom you see guys and uh, I got some actually comment uh, in the last previous video as uh, some subscriber told me what should I do should I sell because we actually broke from our support yeah of course because uh, and uh, the idea is when you put your uh, sub, uh, stop loss uh, at round number as I told you he actually asked me about uh, where I should get out because he actually put uh, his uh, stop limit uh, at uh, 50 cent exactly. So usually when you put your stop loss at 50 cent, look with me guys, you get stopped out exactly by the cent. So when you put your stop limit, never actually put it at 50. Just put it as I told you uh, in the description below. I told you to put it at 0 0.48, 0 0.49 even because a lot of time you get stopped out. That's why we got a lot of selling pressure here before the 50 as I told you in the, uh, in the comment uh, section in this video and uh, now we actually seeing a bit of selling pressure again this is not good sign as i told you guys if we just broke now from this 50 cent exactly and we just go to 49 this is a big 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 warning sign and as we can see when we see a big selling pressure then a buying pressure like this we need a good like uh, a candle at the uh, at the opening from this candle a green candle and buying pressure to go back to our uh, resistant level but this is we didn't see uh, but let's go in a smaller time frame to see you see with me guys we have a buying pressure here for this candle at for our candle we can see but we can see it here uh, now we can see a, a bit of buying pressure around like um, uh, half a million but this is not enough because we already uh, sold 700 uh, uh, k worth of share then 300 then 600 then 600 does nothing to actually drive us up that's why we get another selling pressure so now if we n never uh, buy today or tomorrow test this level at 55 and we still uh, trading below this is a big 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 chance that we actually test this 50 and if we go just below the 49 guys this is a really bad because if we got here uh, I will actually suggest to you sell and wait for the price to actually go even to 40 cent or 38 cent because that's the price will go to gravitate because now we actually uh, uh, as I told you guys this is in the middle of nowhere this is the price target here is not uh, like never gravitate like this price here around this area is Neverland is not good we need the price to go above the 55 or will go even at 40 cent because here 
we're gonna see a big selling pressure on buy pressure at this level we don't see a price to actually gravitate or consolidate at about this level we need to actually uh, see a buying pressure from now about the 50 in order to actually go higher if we don't test by this week guys by this week if we don't test again the 55 and we break it this is a big incentive that we're gonna see the 40 cent or 38 cent for sure guys by the next week and um, as we can see here the expansion moving average coil down even if we go up we're gonna see a bit of rejection a lot of rejection here about the 55 because our expansion moving average actually coil down on us and coming down because we're gonna see a big pressure but this it would be a really good uh, um, indication if we never actually visited again the 50 cent if we want to test the 55 cent and uh, another thing i will gonna tell a lot of people ask me should i buy should i sell what should I, should I do like one of the things you can do in this scenario as i told you guys have no emotion like i told you when the price actually uh, went down to even 54 cent i sell because i know this price there's a big selling pressure will happen as uh, my chart tell me i bought here at the 57 actually then the price actually go up and we don't actually go above the 60 i sell because i see a big selling pressure here because we never actually went above 60 as i told you guys in previous video this is a big selling pressure here and we have really little uh, candle and look with me here uh, uh and the volume this is actually indicator we have a big 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 volume guys big volume sma but a really little candle here boom it doesn't actually justify the price and the dropping in volume look with me the volume is dropping 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 and the price is actually going up a bit a bit a bit a bit this is actually indication of weakness that's why boom we got actually bought back down that's why i just got in a bot because there's a big a chance that we actually get big buying pressure but here we didn't because we never actually go above the 60 and we got uh, uh, as i told you if we just go below this level i will just put my stop loss at 55 and i did the moment we actually just gone to 55 i just get out because boom we got this big selling pressure and went even to 50. now we have uh, another opportunity for me if the price go to 40 cent 38 cents i will jump in again this is a big big buying pressure will happen here but at this moment here uh, never buy when the price actually in middle nowhere because there's a big chance now for the test for price for resistant we got maybe a rejection because if you bought here again we might get a rejection here and you see the price go up at 55 and you think that we actually going up but you don't wait for confirmation and we get a sell off here and we go lower so always wait for confirmation the confirmation if i get above here and above our exponential move and average will coil here i will buy here would be perfect again but here now still we actually broke our uh, support level and we never test it again we get um, dropping in volume this old indication of weakness so we'll never buy until we get in the other support level and the C consolidation and I can actually put my protective loss even I told you guys always put probability for a bit of loss so actually with the um, uh, this uh, probability of doing something 70% you win 30% you lose but uh, at the long run you always always winning because you actually uh, sell uh, with just 5% loss but the gain you gain 50% 90% always calculate your risk to actually have more reward than you actually lost and you actually with the time you always always winning when you actually add numbers and statistics for any trade 
and you know with the long run you always always winning because this stock market you never actually have emotion have a straight uh, uh, strategy for entering and exiting and define yourself are you a long holder by, by all means just buy but not buying here guys buy at the right price wait for it to come to you for me i will wait until we'll come around at least 40 cent we'll buy again and if we actually test here and we got a confirmation candle about the 55 i'll buy again there's a big uh, opportunity to actually have a, a run up to actually go up again but as i told you there's a big rejection as we saw here we never actually test about the 60 uh, cent if we actually go about the 60 just the 61 cent and above our exponential moving average this is a big indication that we're gonna test the 66 then we go up and this is a really good indication to buy above the 61 but now we still actually trading below so i just protect myself if you have a lot of money you actually average down here this is perfect and uh, the, if you don't have a lot of money there's another strategy you just as i told you 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 do your sell limit around this level at 55 you gone out and now you wait until you see the confirmation here or the dropping price here and you buy you pra like you you average down not you average down but you buy uh, your shares at this level at 38 or 40 cent so you actually if you don't have money there's another strategy for you if you have money uh, if you don't have money this is a strategy for you if you have a lot of money you can average down and you never buy here but you wait until the price will go here or go off uh, up and you bought here so you never actually feel FOMO and you know where and when you buy not let the market d d d uh, dictate uh, what you do but you actually in, in control and you control when you get in and what price you want to buy never let anybody tell you uh, like tell you to buy at this price like the market tell you to buy at this price or you FOMOing and see the price go up and you jump in then you get burn because this is hyped price or the price when it go down is price is actually uh, fueled by fear so you buy uh, you never see that uh, the bottom so wait until you see the consolidation so you know where you buy and you actually could actually put uh, some uh, protective uh, stop loss limit if you actually buying and the drop you never actually could protect yourself because the price is actually drop in really fast so this is not good good way to enter the market as i told you guys always be patient and have patience and always always protect yourself and have a uh, price that you uh, you know when you get in and when when you get out and always be uh, uh, reasonable and have always a strategy before you get in the market and as you know the market is really vicious place is like a jungle if you're not ready to hunt the market will hunt you down always have a strategy plan be patient never panic relax and to see clearly and you take the right decision so as i told you guys daily update hit the notification so you never miss any of my future update daily update about ctrm so you never miss any of my future update as always decision jesus said be patient and let's hunt for the right price value until the next time see you guys and let's hunt for the right price value see you guys